Hey kids, welcome back to this week's children's ministry online. We have some worship, a message, and a craft for you, so let's get into it. My soul finds rest in God alone. My soul finds rest in God alone. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress, I will never be shaken. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress, I will never be shaken, never be shaken. God alone, my soul finds rest in God alone, my soul finds rest in God alone, my salvation comes from Him, He alone is my rock and my salvation, He is my fortress, I will Never be shaken He alone is my rock and my salvation He is my fortress I will never be shaken Never be shaken alone my salvation comes from him my soul finds rest in god alone my salvation comes from him my soul finds rest in god alone my salvation comes from him my soul finds rest in god alone my salvation comes from him he alone is my rock and my salvation he is my fortress i will Never be shaken He alone is my rock and my salvation He is my fortress I will Never be shaken, never be shaken
Okay, let's get into our story time. You're going to be reading from the Jesus Storybook Bible, and the story for today is A Little Servant Girl and the Proud General, which is the story of the little slave girl and Naaman from 2 Kings 5. Naaman was a very important man in a very important army of a very important country. So you can see he was very, very, very important. But Naaman was sick. He had leprosy, which is this nasty thing that stops you from feeling anything. It's like bits of you fall off without you even noticing, like bashed fingers or squished toes. I mean, it might sound kind of funny, but it wasn't. And Naaman certainly wasn't laughing. Unfortunately, there was no cure and it never went away. In the end, it ended up killing you. Naaman needed help. Now, there was a little slave girl who worked for Naaman, and she knew someone who could help him. But there was a problem. Naaman was her enemy. Not long before, Naaman had led an army raid on her home in Israel. He had killed her whole family and carried her off to Syria and made her into his slave. Every night, she would cry herself to sleep because she had lost everything. Why would she, of all people, want to help Naaman? Didn't she not like him and want to hurt him back? Didn't she want to make him pay for the wrong that he'd done? Well, that's what you might expect. But instead of hating him, she loved him. And instead of hurting him, she forgave him. I want Naaman to get well, she said to her mistress. There's a man in Israel called Elisha who can heal him. I'll go, said Naaman, loading up his wagons and putting on his flashing armor. But I'll go to the palace because that's where someone important like me would get healed. So he hurried off to Israel and went straight to the king. My healing, please, he announced. I can do lots of things, the king replied, but only God can heal you. Just then, a message from Elisha arrived. Send Naaman here, it read. So Naaman hurried off to Elisha's home, but Elisha didn't even come out and greet him. He just sent a servant instead. Doesn't Elisha know who I am? Naaman thought. But what the servant said next made him even crosser. Wash in there, he said. Just wash, Naaman laughed, in that slimy, stinky river. He looked around to see if this was some kind of joke. It wasn't. Any person can wash in a river, he thought. I am Naaman. I am important. I should do something important so God can heal me, not wash myself in a dirty river. And so he rode off into rage. Of course, you and I both know that that's not how God does things. All Naaman needed was nothing, actually. It was the only thing that Naaman didn't have. God knew that Naaman was even sicker on the inside than he was on the outside. Naaman was proud. He thought that he didn't need God. His heart didn't work properly. It couldn't feel anything. You see, Naaman had leprosy of his heart. God was not going to heal Naaman's skin. He was going to heal his pride. Naaman finally agreed to wash in the river and instantly his skin became smooth like a baby. Naaman wanted to pay Elisha. God was the one that healed you. You can't pay me, Elisha said. It's free. And so it was that a very sick man was healed all because of a little servant girl who decided to forgive. God knew sin was like leprosy. It stopped his children's hearts from working properly, and in the end, it would kill them. Years later, God was going to send another servant to forgive, just as she did, to forgive all of God's children and heal the terrible sickness in their hearts. Their hearts were broken, but... God can mend broken hearts. It's so important to forgive even if we don't want to. And in this story, 
it was crazy to see how this little girl who lost her parents to this man was able to forgive him and ended up healing him all because God was able to give her the courage to be able to forgive him. Well, let's get into our craft for today. All righty, we are gonna start our craft now. Let's get into the supplies that we are going to need. So I have two pieces of paper. They are both cardstock, so they are the thicker kind of paper, which may be better for this project. So if you have thicker paper, I would grab that. I got a blue piece of paper because we're going to be making um, the river that uh, Naaman went into. So I just thought that it would be easier if we had a blue piece of paper so we didn't have to color the whole thing blue. Uh, next, you'll need scissors, glue or tape or both. Um, we're gonna use a popsicle stick. If you don't have a popsicle stick, just a stick that you found outside or something that will hold onto, um, that you can tape a piece of paper to and you can kinda wiggle around. You can also just use a color pencil that you're not using. Um, and then you'll need your markers, crayons, colored pencils, paint, pens, all of the fun stuff. So you all get your supplies and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so we are going to start out with the blue piece of paper um, or just a white piece of paper that you're going to color. And we are going to take one side and we're going to fold it about a third of the way into the paper. So this is about a third and you're just going to fold it just like that. Okay, so then after that, now we are actually going to fold it into thirds. So we're gonna have one, two, three folds. So fold it once like that, we'll make the crease. And then we'll fold it into this and make the crease. Perfect. So now, Now we have this that can stand up. So this is going to be our river that Naaman goes into to get rid of his leprosy. So now you can go ahead and color this river any way that you would like. So you can add some fishes, you can add some other sea creatures, make some waves to show the water moving. Um, go ahead and just decorate it however you want. You can even add some stickers or glitter. Um, and I will meet you back here after that. Okay, so once you have made the river and decorated it, I added some green lines and seaweed just because they said in the story that it was kind of a gross and stinky river. So I just wanted to kind of symbolize and show that in the picture. So now once you've finished that, now we are going to draw Naaman. And you can just draw him as big as you would like, probably no bigger than the one third up here. So you'll probably want to keep it about that big. So we'll just draw somewhere in there, Naaman. Uh, go ahead and just draw Naaman. You can draw him with his hands out saying, I'm healed um, and wearing whatever you want him to wear. Um, so go ahead and draw him and then I'll show you what to do next.
Okay, so once you have drawn Naaman, go ahead and cut him out. Okay, and once you have cut out Naaman, go ahead and we are going to glue him to our popsicle stick. Glue or tape. I'll go ahead and tape just a little bit quicker. Just tape him onto there. Looks like I have some extra tape poking out, so just kind of hold that over. And now with our extra piece of white paper, we are going to make a talking bubble. So Naaman is going to be, once we set this up, be like that, and Naaman will be going under the water and then popping out and spreading his arms. And we are going to connect a um, little comment bubble to his face saying, I'm healed. So let's see, let's draw. Oh, we can do it with turquoise. So we'll just put him here. That way we kind of know how big we want it. We'll write, I'm healed with an exclamation point, and then we'll put a circle around that. Okay, go ahead and cut out your comment circle. Okay, so we will tape or glue this to the back or we'll, we'll do it kind of right there. That way it looks like it's coming from his mouth. So we'll flip it over once we have it where we want it. We'll take a piece of tape. Oh, not that big. Just a smaller one. Tape it on, oops, tape it on there like that. And I have a little bit of sticky part on that side kind of showing, so I'll just tape over that. That way it's not very sticky. So we have an I'm healed with Neiman. And these are going to be popping up from the river. Now that is the drawing part of the craft. So now we are going to remind ourselves where this is from, what story this is, and where we can read in the Bible about this story as we look at this craft and we're like, oh, what is this about? We wanna be able to read about it and know. So you can go ahead and take whatever color you would like. And this is from 2 Kings 5. So, you can write that anywhere on here. Um, I will probably write. Second Kings five. You can decorate that if you want to or you can just leave it like so. And that just helps remind us what story this is from. And this is our craft.
Thanks for watching this week's children's ministry online. I hope that I get to see some of your crafts that you have made on our Facebook page, and we hope to see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.